on Zorm Hat. I want to talk about the fursuits, the fake animals, especially the gray apes. For me, they're just the most obvious, and it all clicks, it all makes sense, it goes in with the way that they operate. It's very similar to outer space. They use cartoons, they use CGI, they use Hollywood magic to make you believe in a fantasy, outer space land. And same thing with this fake animal stuff. They use Hollywood magic to make you believe in a fantasy, evolution. And so here, let me just talk about, about the images that I picked. Here's one where they're, they're telling you the truth. In the wild, I'm certain the boy wouldn't have been killed. Gisela Kaplan, animal behavior expert. How could somebody be certain that in the wild, a, the boy with a huge silverback mountain gorilla, how could you be certain that the boy is not going to be killed? Well, it's, this person is flexing. They're showing you that they know the truth, that these are just actors in fursuits. There's no such thing as a wild gorilla that is dangerous. That's how they can be certain that the boy wouldn't have been killed. Gorillas have this gentle giant duality about them. We're supposed to believe on one hand that they're extremely powerful and, you know, people, I get comments all the time. Oh, I'd like to see you go inside a mountain, like go inside a zoo enclosure. Yeah, I would do it if I wouldn't get thrown in jail for doing something like that. I'm not afraid of gorillas at all. I can tell that it's a suit. When you know the magic trick, it's not impressive anymore. And no, I'm not afraid of gorillas. I would walk into a, I would walk right in, not afraid at all. It's embarrassing, this deception. And here you go. Look, they're mocking you. In the wild, I'm certain the boy wouldn't have been killed. How can this person be so certain that the boy wouldn't be killed? Because they understand the truth. These are fursuits. The dodo. Here's another, just another thing. They love to get you with an emotional story. Go look at the, the brush fires in Australia, the stories about the koalas. They are obviously plushies. Like, really, really obvious. They just get you to suspend your disbelief by... I don't, I don't know how they can get so obvious about it, but they just can. They can make it really, really obvious. And here I just wanted to show the orange. Always be on the lookout for this shade of orange in particular. Is just so... It's a huge orange flag, red flag, that you're probably watching some sort of Masonic street theater or Masonic production, you're looking at something that's part of the agenda. We have this, I already mentioned it, the duality of, oh, if, if you're somehow special, if you're an illuminated individual, you can be around chimpanzees, you can be around gorillas, and it's fine. Oh, but they also can rip your face off. They like to sell the two sides of that, where, oh, if you're this super special illuminated individual, then no problem. But the general people, you can't get near one of these things. And they also, I mean, telling people, oh, don't touch it, don't go near it, that's another way to keep their secrets. They get people to be afraid of going near their, their hoaxes. How can all these people be around these huge, allegedly deadly things without an ounce of fear in their eyes? It's because they know the secret, they know it's a person in a fursuit. And it's all produced footage. In So in this, I just want to give you an example. Look at the hand sign over here. Hand in the pocket. I got one hand in my pocket. And the other one is throwing a triad claw. <laughs> um, it's produced footage. In this one, the alleged chimpanzee, or whatever the heck this is, started walking off. And it switched to another camera angle where the person was down on the ground, perfectly ready for where this alleged wild animal was walking off. How would they know which way this animal is going to walk off so they would have a camera there ready to get that angle? I don't see, I don't see like 50 cameramen around here, uh, around every single side so that they can make sure to get that shot. Oh, were they just super lucky that they got that shot? When you just start paying attention to, oh, they keep getting these one in a million shots. How do you keep getting these one in a million video shots of everything? It's because it's produced. They're selling you a story. Look at the triad claw again. What separates us from chimpanzees? Absolutely nothing. Jane Goodall on how Bigfoot might be real. 
India's biggest gorilla ever. Okay, so the enclosures themselves debunk these things completely. Where's the poop? Why do we have really nice ropes that are... I mean, why don't they rip them down? Why don't they gnaw on them? Where's the poop? A thing that we know about monkeys is that they like to throw poop. Real monkeys, real-life monkeys, ones that actually exist and are real animals, they like to throw poop at people. That's not... that's true. So why don't gorillas do that? Why don't, why don't gorillas even poop? We have a million videos of people watching gorillas at the gorilla enclosure. <laughs> I mean, it's worth pointing out, there, there's like a meme about watching the gorilla channel. I don't, I don't know what that meme's all about, but yeah, gorillas being fursuits, it gets talked about in the media so much, joked about so much. It's a big in-joke. A lot, a lot, a lot of people know this. So many people know that, that they're fursuits, and it's just a well-kept secret. These people, they get off on being in on these secrets. They don't like to tell people the truth. To them, they prefer to be smug and be in on the joke. This whole earth is a big inside joke. And yeah, there you go. I, I'm not in the club, and I support telling people the truth. And I think it's really important to tell people this truth in particular because the reason that these great ape things exist is to bash evolution into people's brains. Oh, you're just a monkey. You're just a monkey. No man was made in the image of god and i hate this hoax just as bad as the outer space one but these people they think it's funny and they get campy with it they go over the top with it but they think it's funny i think it's disgusting that's why i i can never do enough videos on this gorilla hoax because it's so evil what they do with this they get people to believe in evolution Okay, but look at the enclosure. Where's the poop? Why aren't they pooping? Why have I never seen a video of a, of a silverback taking a huge dump and then chucking it at people? Why doesn't that exist? There's a million videos of these things beating their chests and running around like idiots. And notice how they always beat their chest for the camera. They always beat their chest for the audience. They, Because it's a play. You're watching a production. They have a script to follow. Okay, this is from an Indian zoo. One way, if you're new to this, one way to make this really easy to see is go look at old suits. Go look at the really old gorillas and you'll see that it's obviously a suit. Another thing is go to the third world countries. Go to the, the more poor countries and it's like over the top. It's more campy. It's more obvious. Look at the seam up the back. This is a suit with a seam running all the way up the back. I got this from an Indian zoo. And <clears throat> a lot of these third world countries, they'll often have them smoking cigarettes and stuff. It's just over the top. Okay, so I just want to kind of end on this main note because it's something that everybody should have asked this question to themselves before, and I'm sure that they did. It's something that we suspend our disbelief on. It's they get us to suspend our disbelief all the time. We'll have these questions, these problems with things. Well, that doesn't quite make sense, but then you just like forget about it after a while. How do they get all these wild animals so well trained that they can come in and out of these doors at exact times that they want them to? Okay, and it's like showtime. At this time, we're going to let the, the gorillas out. At this time, we're going to put the gorillas back in. Why do they never have a hard time putting the gorillas back in? Uh, I have a hard time putting my children to bed on time. How do they get these 600 pound things into the little square at the right time every day? They never try to, to refuse to go back in. That doesn't make sense. How can they get them out and in and out and in every day? And they never have issues. They never try to climb out of these enclosures. That right there debunks it. They get you to suspend your disbelief. They get you to ignore all the obvious problems with it. It's the same thing with outer space. It really is. None of it makes sense. They get you to believe in it. They get you to suspend your disbelief when it comes to these obvious problems with it. You cannot train wild animals to come in and out of a little box day after day and not have issues. I mean, you just can't even do it to begin with, period. You can't train a, a 600-pound wild animal uh, like this to do your will every day like that and they so they will come up with these just fake stories every once in a while to to make it seem real oh no people really do get beat up by these gorillas oh people really do get their faces ripped off by chimpanzees but you hear about those stories like 
once every few years and they do it just to keep it alive but really you know nobody actually gets hurt it's not dangerous you never hear about real life people oh my my friend worked at the zoo and got their arm ripped off it's, it's only sensational media stories like haram Okay, so I think I mostly said what I had to say. When you go to the zoo, you're watching a production. You're watching a play. There's a start time, and there's an end time, and there's actors, and there's actresses, and that's it. God bless everyone.